Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have had a good week so far. Today I'm going to be recording a video about a pretty popular topic. It's something that's all over social media at the moment. So I kind of just want to touch on it and give it my own little spin, I guess. I was originally going to record this video at a later date, but for the last few weeks I've been feeling pretty crappy about myself and I felt like it would be a good idea to film it now while I was in this mood so I can give you guys like a, a real honest perspective on this topic. I've basically just been working a little bit more, not a little bit, a lot more <laughs> than usual and I guess I've been using that as an excuse to be lazy with my foods and the workouts that I have slash have not been doing. So yeah, it's kind of all caught up to me a little bit and I'm just not feeling really great. I feel really lazy, unmotivated. I just don't feel confident at all. I just feel really gross in my body at the moment and yeah, it's just, it's not fun. I just hope that by talking about it, I can kind of get myself back into the same routine as before and can hopefully give you guys a little bit of insight and inspiration to being healthier and happier people. Sorry, I just get so self-conscious about my nose ring. It always falls down and kind of looks like a booger, so it's gonna put it back up there. <laughs> anyway, so first up, I just want to say the way that we see ourselves physically is so, so important. And by that, I don't mean dressing ourselves up and looking hot or whatever. I just mean the way that we see ourselves every day in our bodies and being content with how we see ourselves is really important. I just believe that if we look in the mirror and we only see our flaws, there is no way for us to be completely happy with ourselves. And that sounds like common sense, but there are so many times where I, and I'm sure a lot of you people have experienced this as well, but we say we're really happy with ourselves, but then we look in the mirror and we're like, I hate that I have stomach fat, I hate my legs, I hate my nose, I hate everything and anything really. And that's just not productive. We're never going to get anywhere with a mindset like that. So I just want to reiterate that it is so important that we see ourselves with a positive mindset and that means everything about ourselves, even the things that we don't really like. It's so important that we try to change the way that we see our bodies to a more positive way because it affects our mental health, which effectively impacts the rest of our lives. And also, there is just no point in saying really horrible things about ourselves if we don't intend on making any sort of changes. So if we complain about being fat, but then don't go out and exercise because we don't like it, then there's really no point in complaining because we're not making any changes, if that makes any sense. I've probably just offended someone. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry, but... Basically, what I'm trying to say is that if you don't intend on making changes, don't complain about nothing changing. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. With this video, I just want to share with you guys a few things that I try to do in my life that makes me see myself in a more positive way and increases my confidence and therefore increases my body positivity. So the first thing that I do and the most important thing I feel is that I go to the gym and I lift heavy stuff. So when I first started working out I did what most people do when they go to the gym. I had a regular training split that was like back and biceps, chest and tri, shoulders, legs, you know, the basic thing that most people do. And I was training like this for a, a couple of years I would say. And I did see progress at the very beginning, but as I kept going and doing the same thing, I found that my progress was slowing down quite a bit and things weren't changing and I was getting really, really discouraged. I didn't find myself looking the way that I wanted to and that really bummed me out like so much. I really wanted to grow my glutes and also have abs, which I couldn't achieve doing what I was doing. After a while of training, because I wasn't very educated, I hurt my hip flexor and for about a year or so I just could not train legs and that was really crap because I wanted to have a massive bum and if I couldn't train my legs then that wasn't going to happen and I was just, I just felt really bad about that. So while I was injured I actually went on an exchange to Wales and I was there for about three months I think and I kind of relaxed with my training a little bit. I 
stop going as regularly and I actually did focus a little bit more on trying to rehabilitate my hip flexor and gain a little bit more flexibility in that area and just decrease my injury because no one wants to be injured. And then by the time I came back to Australia after that, I was able to train legs. I just did like a bunch of exercises and stretches that helped my hips. And so when I came back, I was obviously very excited to train my legs. So I was doing a lot of squats and I found it really cool that my strength was coming back so quickly. And being able to lift a higher amount of weight is just, it's really fun. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that before, but increasing your weight is just, I don't know, it's kind of satisfying. So I then became a lot more interested in strength training. So I shifted from a more bodybuilding style of focus, like when I started my training, to a more strength slash powerlifting training style. By changing the way I trained, I actually found that I stopped focusing on what my body looked like. So if you guys aren't familiar with bodybuilding, which I'm sure you are, but it's basically just trying to grow different areas of your body. And it's very much dependent on how you look. So what I found when I stopped doing this bodybuilding style of training to powerlifting slash strength training, I found that I was focusing less on how I looked and more on what I could do with my body, which was freaking amazing. That was so cool. I still cared about what I looked like, but it was much lower on the list of things that I cared about. So I found myself not thinking about how my stomach looked and all my, how my legs looked or how my bum looked or all that sort of stuff. I just focused more on stuff I was doing in the gym, the amount of weight I could move, and that was awesome. And I just felt so much happier doing that. It was just so freeing. It was such a nice feeling to be able to train and not be too concerned with how how pumped my muscles were and whatever. So I know that this style of training doesn't work for everyone and that's totally fine, but for me it did. And it made my mindset about fitness a lot healthier and I just, as a result, felt much happier because I just stopped focusing on how I looked and more on what I could do with my body, which is my first tip. It is focus less on how you look and more on what you can do with your body because it is freaking amazing. It can do so many things that we just take for granted on a daily basis. So focus on what you can do, not how you look. So my next tip ties quite well into my last point and it's so easy for you guys to do. So there's no reason why you can't do it, but it is to unfollow people on social media who aren't giving you anything. And by that, I mean, if you are following a bunch of people on Instagram or Facebook or whatever so social media you use and their whole feed is just them looking really hot and there's nothing that you can gain from it, then there is no reason why you need to follow them because at the moment all you're doing is looking at them, thinking about how great they look and most likely looking at yourself and thinking about how shit you look. So what I found when I stopped doing that bodybuilding training to more powerlifting stuff, as I said, I focused a lot less on how I looked or more on what I could do, which meant that I stopped caring about these people who I followed on social media because I just stopped caring about bodies and how they looked as much as I used to. I was so obsessed with following fitness models on Instagram and over time that just kind of withered away and I started following people who were more real, I guess. They gave you something with their content. They weren't just sharing with you workouts and professional photographs of their body. They were actually giving you something back. I also just want to point out that if you do enjoy following these people, but you still find yourself comparing yourself to them, I just want you to realize that most of these people are getting paid to look the way they look. If they've got a million followers, they're most likely being paid to look amazing, which means that they get to spend a lot of their time putting effort into the way they look, whereas most of us have day jobs, which means we can't put the same amount of time and effort into looking like that because it's just unrealistic and it will drive us insane if we do the same stuff in shorter time. <laughs> so don't let that affect you. Sorry, that's my camera just died. So if this footage looks any different, that is why. So that was my second tip. My third tip is something I really struggle with, but I do, feel a massive difference when I do it, and that is to eat good food. I'm so bad at this, but when I actually put the time and effort into it, I definitely, definitely notice a difference. I feel way better. And I, th I think it's just because I know that I've put in that effort to eat good
good food. I must feel proud of myself or something. I don't know, but also I don't know about you. I really enjoy going on the internet and looking up really yummy recipes and then making them. I don't, I don't know, it's just something that I can spend hours doing, so. All right, so my fourth and final tip is to find clothing that complements your body. And I know that this might be a little bit controversial, but I personally think if I'm wearing something that looks better on my body, then I just feel a lot better about myself. So that means going through your closet and getting rid of clothes that don't fit you anymore, including that pair of jeans that you really, really want to fit into again, but you just can't get it over your butt. Butts are amazing. Find jeans that accentuate your butt. Don't try to hide it and smush it into jeans that are too small for you. <laughs> for me, I've always had a fairly small frame. So when I started working out, I had to try to get over the hurdle of buying clothes that were bigger because my body was not the same size as it was when I was 17. But you know, if the larger size is gonna make me look better, then I'm just gonna get it. Like that just makes so much more sense, don't you think? I've also really had to pay attention to my body and learn what looks good on me. So in the last couple of years, if you know me in person, you would notice that I almost always wear high-waisted things. And that is just because of the shape of my body. High-waisted stuff just highlights my small hips, which I'm very lucky to have, and also accentuates my butt. It makes me feel good when they look good. So I always go for high-waisted stuff because it looks good on me and it makes me feel good. <laughs> That's basically all I do in my life to make myself feel a little bit better about myself. <laughs> Hopefully something resonated with you and you can try to implement that into your life as well. Or maybe I've just reminded you of something that you wanted to do. Now it's in your head and you can go out and do it. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna share your tips on how you are more self-confident and how you help yourself get to a more body positive mindset, please share them with me in the comments. I would love to read your comments and your tips, or you can DM me on Instagram as well. I would love to hear from you. But yeah, that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.